Hello everyone, it's GigaBeef here and today we're looking at whether it's possible to eliminate enemy players in two shots, one shot to the arm and one shot to the chest. This is important because a lot of the time when we're firing at centre of mass with the idea of taking down the thorax hitbox, the arms of our opponents gets in the way instead. Sometimes arms really are the best armour. Before we get started, I just wanted to mention that more dedicated music for this channel is coming soon in partnership with Low Wave Records. There is currently one album out on Spotify at the moment with some tracks that I use on my videos and more to come. These are all DMCA safe for content and streams if you did want to use any of them, and listening on Spotify helps to support the channel too. Anyway, the basic idea is that once the arm is blacked out, any extra damage spills over into the rest of the body. This includes the thorax, and because of the lowered HP, this now opens up a vulnerability to dying on the next hit against high flesh damage rounds. So how does this work exactly? If we take the basic health system as a starting point, when shooting at a player's arms, we need to deal at least 60 damage to get any spillover onto the rest of the health pool. Let's just use 100 damage for the time being to simplify things as an example. This means that we'll remove 60 HP from the arm to get it to zero and the arm will be blacked out. From here, we have 40 damage remaining to be distributed. This happens relative to the max HP in each limb, but we have to remember that this first arm is now out of the picture, so the new total health pool is 380. By the way, the system as it is now was the reason that flesh damage was buffed a little while back, because in the old version, even blacked limbs used to take part in this spillover calculation, and because they couldn't be damaged any more than zero, some of the damage just used to go missing. Anyway, our thorax in this theoretical example has 85 HP, which is 22.3% of 380, which is the new total HP before the spillover damage is applied. With 40 damage to be distributed, this means that 8.95 damage gets applied to the thorax, leaving it at just over 76 health left. Clearly, with 100 damage, if the next shot hits the thorax, this will kill the player anyway, and if we tweak the number down, the magic threshold is 82. Interestingly, this is actually the same, regardless of whether we use the arm, the leg, or the stomach to do the first shot. Despite the three limbs having very different multipliers for spillover damage once blacked out, i.e. the arms distribute 70% damage, the legs 100%, and the stomach 150%, because the health of these three parts incrementally increases from 60 for the arms to 65 for the legs and 70 for the stomach, this offsets the extra multiplier as there is less damage left overall to impact the thorax HP once that body part is blacked. Now obviously this is a theoretical example and unless you're at point blank the threshold here is going to be slightly higher than 82 because of damage drop off depending on how far away you are. But a far bigger issue is the fact that if your opponent is wearing armour you're very likely to be dealing much less damage than you expect on the thorax shot that comes second and this is due to armour damage mitigation. If you're unfamiliar with this, go and check out the recent video that I put out on the whole armour ballistic system, but broadly speaking, armour will reduce the incoming damage of bullets unless the situation is super mismatched with high pen rounds against low class armours. Let's focus primarily on class 4 and higher, as this is where the typical PMC loadout will sit. To have a decent chance of penetrating these, we'll need our bullet to have a pen of at least 37 or more as our starting point. Also, the round must do at least 82 damage, otherwise it doesn't even meet the initial criteria that we talked about in the first part. This doesn't actually leave many contenders, 9 to be precise, and what matters at this point is how much damage they can do on the second shot through various armours. AP-20 slugs, for example, only have 37 pen, so they have quite a bit of damage removed when fighting higher tier armour. Against class 4, it's a 50-50 penetration chance, but let's just assume that it does pen for the purposes of this video. The initial 164 damage to the arm sends 16.3 to the thorax and leaves it on 68.7. Against the class 4 armour, the incoming damage gets reduced all the way down to 116, which is still plenty to get the job done, and the same goes for the barricada from the KS-23. Against class 5, the issue is more the fact that with 37 pen, you only have a 1% chance to get through, not very useful. Blunt damage is only in the low 20s, so this doesn't help either. 366 APM is an interesting one because it has a good damage of 90 and the penetration is a little bit better at 42. In this example, with 90 damage to the arm on the first shot, we end up with a thorax at 80.3, but in this situation, class 4 is still enough to reduce the incoming damage by 20% or so to around 72. We've discussed this before as to why 366 APM doesn't one-tap class 4 to the chest, and in this situation it's another case where damage mitigation ends up being too high to prevent a single arm hit and then a chest shot from taking down enemies with class 4 and above. This turns out is the case for most of these ammos, the damage ends up being too low on the second shot to snag a kill through class 4 armour until we get to the three highest damage bullets on this list. 
PS12B for the Ash 12 both has very high damage and high pen, so the initial shot of 102 leaves us with only 78.4 HP on the thorax. After the class 4 armor reductions, this bullet deals around 90 damage, which is the first cartridge outside of the two high pen shotgun slugs that works. This is also extremely effective against class 4 with a 95% chance to pen. However, against class 5 again, we still fall flat slightly as we only deal 75 damage on a penetration. This is not quite enough to secure the two shot after the arm takes a hit. Now, of these final two, only FMJ is in question. 338 AP already one shots all players in the chest with a single hit, and yes, that includes class 6 with a 97% effectiveness, so be thankful that it's finding raid only. FMJ with 122 starting damage will in fact deal 92 to the thorax through class 5 armor, so it doesn't need an arm hit first and already breaks the 85 HP threshold on its own, although again, that is assuming a penetration. Do remember that this round only gives a 55% chance to defeat a fresh class 5 due to its 47 pen. This is in fact true until just over 100 meters, and because of the drop off in both flesh damage and penetration, this in fact allows a class 5 to survive after this point, so it's comforting to know that an arm, stomach or leg shot at further distances will still allow the thorax hit to kill when sniping, although admittedly at lower and lower pen chances as the target gets further away. So if you want the greatest chance of smashing through players regardless of hitting arms or not, obviously 338 is the way to go, but given the restricted and pricey weapon selection with semi-auto at best, the Ash 12 is actually one of the better choices that is semi-accessible given its high pen chance and craftable ammo PS12B. To finish off, there is one final piece that I've missed out of this which is fragmentation. Fragmentation has maybe been bugged, maybe been changed on purpose at some undetermined point in the past, such that thorax hits from other players don't ever fragment. However, we can still get them on the arms and legs for sure, and the multiplier seems to be higher than one and a half times in many cases. When I was testing T46M for the SVD, I got hit for 129 damage through the arm, which implies 159 base damage due to the 70% reduction on the spillover. While this left my thorax on 69 HP, which is still too much for T46, something like 54 RPS might actually be possible due to the higher damage and pen. This is a topic that needs more research. Some creators have been looking into this, for example, CZTL in the past, so if you're interested, you can go and watch his initial findings in a video that I will link below as well. But basically, the one and a half times multiplier doesn't seem to work anymore. Different rounds give different amounts of damage, and the whole thing is a bit confusing. If you'd be interested to see some more content on this topic, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I will add it to the list and maybe get round to it. I also have to give credit to Teoff, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, for inspiring this video as this was a concept that I had not thought of previously until it was brought up in his Trader Level 3 build guide, which I have linked below. Check out his channel, certainly underrated. So next, go and check out my video on the full armor damage model. This is probably the most important video that I've made overall based on a ton of research across many months, finally breaking down these topics if you are interested in the nitty gritty of how these works and various rules of thumb about different rounds, ammo and armor classes. Otherwise, as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons, hit all the buttons if you enjoyed the video, and as always, have fun in your raids.